Hello and welcome everybody. Today we're doing another Pokemon, but today we're doing it up with a bit more of a plan. Last time I wanted to like maybe make uh, my own starter and I kind of already fin like focused on the grass starter. However, today I have a bit more of a plan. You don't see me like actually immediately do a character, but that's because I am kind of planning and get a better idea of like actually all three starters with each evolution and what I want to like concept wise want to do and I basically have everything down except like kind of the animal and stuff like that that it actually is or like how it will actually look like uh, but that's something I'll figure out as I go along so I just make myself a little bit of a cool looking uh, yeah display of all the starters basically of the concepts that I have so far I generally, the theming generally is that they are just grass, fire, water, then they get like another power uh, of like the, they get like another type, dual typing of the other starters basically. So grass gets fire, fire gets water, and gr uh, water gets grass. Um, yeah, and they, they struggle with that, and with the final evolution they learn to la like master both, and in the process also learn to understand the other starters. If you wanna like read through this, pause right here. Other than that, we're gonna go to the next starter, or like, yeah, start with the first grass starter. Um, yeah, I took a lot of the, uh, like a few of the um, concepts that I liked from the other page and tried to, yeah, make something a bit more rendered, a bit more finalized. Uh, I c most like the kind of tadpole looking grassy boy or where like the, his tail kind of like, he's kind of more like a raindrop shaped, but then like his tail kind of like becomes a leaf. I quite like that concept in general. I guess it's not quite based on like any animal, like most of the stars usually are. Um, usually they're like, hey, it's a fire monkey or it's a gecko water thing, you know? I don't know, or fire bunny or whatever, you know? Usually it is quite of a, kind of a animal because they're supposed to be quite appealing and kind of a selling factor I suppose but I mean with my theoretical um, gen or whatever or like the Pokemon I'm doing I'm kind of thinking like whatever like who needs the traditional Pokemon concepts like uh, I'll definitely keep a bit like for example with the three types of the starters um, but I also want to take that and yeah, go a little bit beyond and think of like how I would like, yeah, make the game and not limit myself too much. So I guess this isn't quite based really on an animal, but I quite like it in general still. Uh, I guess the closest thing it would be a bug or a tadpole, but I don't know. It's not really a frog or a bug later on in the evolution, so yeah, not quite the theming there. We'll see. But yeah, I took the um, design that I had previously with like the tail leaf and stuff like that and tried to incorporate of the plan that I had. I thought the grass data should be kind of a shy uh, boy. So yeah, he's... I thought like of a concept, what if I t he takes this like tail and like kind of hides behind that to really express this, that um, personality. And I think the best way how I how that worked for me is like when I took the leaf and like made it yeah if if I took this tail and just like made it be above him so he is kind of like um, hiding himself from all the enemies or something that like see above him because he's in general quite small so most of people would see him from above and there he just looks like a leaf I guess so that's pretty cool I think um, yeah. I, for the next evolution, I, I'm already thinking like for uh, he would be get the fire type. Uh, he would then struggle with that even more. Um, he is like already kind of a shy boy and stuff like that. But with the new power, like first he's like kind of struggling with it. But like in the end, I'm thinking um, how I really want to incorporate it is probably he's becoming kind of a dragon-ish thing. Um, so. That's where like the fire comes from. I wouldn't, I don't want to give him the dragon type, but like the fire breathing kind of that thing, kind of as a, like a fiery inside. Maybe it's like why fire, um, fireflies or something like that. 
like little organisms or something that are inside of them or like i don't know i'm like having some ideas and stuff i'm not exactly sure where it's going yet um but that's generally what i'm thinking and like in the end because he has like then also the firepower uh, and is like kind of an imposing dragon-ish looking thing um that's like where he gets his confidence from and then like yeah he's gets a healthy confidence in the end that's like kind of the plan for this boy um i did like make his leaf for his tail basically um give it like a orange-ish tint at the at the tip of it um i later you can see here i um decided against it and made it a little bit more like the gradient goes a little bit further out uh, and then like I made more of a like brownish uh, like, kind of like freshly grown leaves and stuff like that on some plants uh, I think that's quite look good looking and it doesn't give away too quick that he's gonna become fire type if you would just see this boy I think it's a cute boy and you wouldn't like immediately think hey he becomes fire or something so i think so far this is pretty good i'm not 100 percent sure on this maybe you guys can also have give me feedback on this so if you have like any ideas like maybe i'll incorporate a bit more of a lizardish thing into it i i'm really not sure um i might come back to him redesign him slightly but for now i think it he's quite cute i like him and i'm happy or like excited to see where I go from here and also with the other starters. Hey, since you made it till the end, I would assume that you enjoyed the video. If that's the case, boop that like and subscribe button and see you in the next one.